we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Almighty Father, this dawn may we receive help. Your promised word, may we be servants of power who can handle it. We confess that we cannot do it. We believe it is completely by your grace. We believe that we will surely do well. May we realize by your word, may we act completely to be righteous. May our descendants, may they all receive the promises of doing more well. May we hold on to the word to be victorious. May we not fall to sin, but as victorious, may we give you glory. We believe today we will live a blessed day, that we will do many good works. May we obey your word and receive all those blessings. We believe that we will do more well, that things will be better. Your word is eternal, is working and eternal. May we realize correctly and may we please you by being blessed. We believe that Satan can't take a foothold. Our personalities, our lives, our actions, may they all change. We believe we will become complete. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. So if your heart doesn't change, your life won't change. So God says, if your heart changes, your life will change. Titus chapter 1 verse 15, let's find it. So he will do according to your heart. This heart has to be the heart of Jesus Christ. So if you want to change it, then you need to cut it off. You need that, that suffering where, where you have to be grafted in. So whether that be winning over sleep. If you try to win over sleep, then that is self-discipline. But it's because you love the word. So sometimes I say that I'm drained of strength. Later, if you become a pastor, whatever you do, when you help others, if you don't get to that point, so if you're in, you're under the sun and you're, you don't get to drink and you're sweating, it's only someone, I mean, you'll die. So it's only someone who's gotten to that point of death that knows that. Otherwise, you don't know. So why do you suffer? So that you can become someone who helps those people. That's Hebrews chapter 2, verse 18. So those people who don't do well, you suffer and you experience that suffering. But Jesus Christ, he did everything. All we have to do is receive it as mine. So if you do four step repentance, God gives you realizations. Can you do things according to what you want? If you have the heart of Christ Jesus, it's not me, but Christ Jesus who guards my heart. So when I went to that soul revival, in one year to build more than 10 houses. You know, that person is incredible. So I thought there is something there in that spouse relationship. So the husband, even though he did something wrong and he lost a million dollars, the woman didn't say a word and she just smiled. Just because you have a life of faith, that doesn't happen. You have to be completely um, held by God. So. So even though, you know, a million dollars was lost, she didn't say anything. That's why he, God gives blessings. If you're fighting, then how can God give you blessings? I thought there's, unmistakably, there's something there. And that pastor was boasting that in one year, he, he you know, he, he has these orders to build more than 10 houses in, a, in one year. And I thought, what kind of heart does he have? And he says he sees everyone as himself. This is really important. But if you have a bad, if you see someone with a bad personality, you, if you see that as you, then you can't do well. You look at people who have a bad heart. Everything they do, they can't do well. Why? Because they, they are always hold to that one stubbornness. That's the only thing they do well. Everything else, they don't do well. So if you go fishing, depending on the size of the fish you're catching, the bait that you use is different. So a big fish, you know, you need to have big bait. And for a small fish, you know, you need a smaller bait. So it's the same with the net that you use. 
you know, it, there's fish that are smaller than anchovy. You need a net with tiny holes. But then there are there are nets with really big holes. They're the ones that you catch the big fish because all the small fish will just pass through. So depending on the net that you have, you catch different fish. But those people who don't do well, they, they're so stuck in their ways. So Jesus Christ, his heart is everything does well. He... Even on the cross, he didn't say the Pharisees can't do well. Yes, he said, you deserve wrath. Yes, you'll be punished. But he says to realize that's the heart of Christ Jesus. So if you have this right heart, then you do well and your children do well. But if your spouse relationship, if you're not right, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7, he, he says he doesn't give you blessings. But those people, they don't repent. They pretend to repent, but they don't. So why is it that my heart, my actions don't change? It's because you don't repent. I can't change. It's only God who can change me. But it's only those who are with Christ that he changes you because God is in Christ. So God, he makes you do well unlimitedly. How? That spouse that you cannot stand, if you repent of their sins as yours, or if you're at work and you repent of those sins as yours, those people do well. So if you see those people are doing well, they do those things according to the Bible. So what is it that they do? Already. So I, so that's what I would check to see if they're right with the Bible. If they're doing well without following the Bible, 100% they'll be ruined. But if they're right with the Bible, that person's future will do well. So as he hosted a meal, you know, this pastor, he was boasting so much. And so I was checking to see if it was right. You know, you can know just by asking one thing. So he takes everything he needs. But he makes everything turn out well. So I asked him one thing. He said, not one person doesn't hate um, doesn't hate him. Not one owner doesn't hate him. That's it. Someone who says me, that person's stubborn. That person, nothing works out. It's because they are there. If you are there, then you're an enemy of God. Judges chapter seven. God, He won't give them blessings. There's nothing that you do well. So if you're upset, it's because you're saying it's about me. But God says. It's not, it's not you. You have to have the heart of Christ Jesus. So if you have that heart, then you forgive everyone and you help others so that they will do well and you give profit. That is the heart of Christ, Christ Jesus. Even the Pharisees and Sadducees, if it was you and I, if they're cursed, we just leave them alone so that they receive curses. We just leave them alone. We don't say anything. But Matthew chapter 23, Jesus said, you are Pharisees who deserve wrath. You will be ruined. He teaches them so that they will realize and return and receive blessings. So just because they're called, just because they deserve wrath, you think it's for them to die. No, it's for them to realize and come back. It's telling them where they are. So even though they're enemies who are trying to kill him, he still tells them the way to live. So Matthew chapter 23, it's not a scary thing. It's those people who hear this as for me to live, that's a right person. And that's why rebuke is sweeter than honey. Rebuke makes me shine. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 13. So if you're able to accept this, that's only the heart of Christ Jesus. So even at our church, those people who don't have a good spouse relationship, they can never do well. They will only be ruined. The only way to change it is by forced state repentance. So they're not doing it. Those people who aren't doing well, their spouse relationship is so bad. So that comes down from their ancestors. What's tied up has come down. So yesterday someone came for counseling. You know, there's nothing to hear. I just pierced them. And both of them said, oh, how did you know? And their faces were red and they couldn't say anything. That's what the Bible teaches us. So you look at people who don't do well. Their hearts aren't at peace. If they want to go to that person, they can't stand there. If they want to go to that person, they don't match up with that person. 
You know, a piece of steel that's been cut, you know, steel is harder than rock. So a cut piece of, of metal, unless it's exactly the right fit, you, you can't fit it anywhere. So you can't use it anywhere else. That kind of person is completely useless. The heart of Christ Jesus is right anywhere. If you put them here, they're right here. If you put them there, they're right there. So you have to be right with anyone. You have to make it so that they like you. How? Because you give them benefit. Christ, the whole Bible is Christ. The whole Bible witnesses Jesus and Jesus witnessed Christ. So it's all Christ. But because you don't know this, you know, you talk about the Old Testament and the New Testament. So if you say only the New Testament is right with me or the Old Testament isn't right with me, that is partiality. That's the person who makes denominations, who, who has stubbornness, who ruins themselves in their country and, and they bring curses upon Jesus. So we, ha we have to be right with everyone. We have to love everyone. So you say, but I don't hate anyone. If you didn't hate someone, why wouldn't you have joy? God gives you joy. You sit there like that. So if you're at the point where you're deceiving yourself, you are at a really low point. If you're deceiving yourself, James chapter 2, verse 26, that person is completely useless. If you can't even wash your own face, you're fit for nothing. Even a cat can, can wash itself. You've seen it wash its face. If you're not even worth a cat, if you're not even worth a beast, that's someone who doesn't know themselves. Who is that? That's us. So that's why you don't have joy. Christ Jesus is joy. So you don't have that joy. Because you don't have that joy. So when I see you from here, it's it's comical. You're not even living worthy as a cat. And then you're like, give me blessings. What do you give a cat? Maybe some fish bones. There's nothing else to give it. And, and if anything, you're worried that it's going to come steal something. And you know, how much fur does a cat shed? So our hearts, Titus chapter 1 verse 15... We see the world according to our hearts. So you're like, oh no, I'm not right with this and I'm not right with that. In the end, you have nothing. You're only left alone. Giving profit to others. So if we give profit to others, to say someone's elderly, you have to be right. You have to do the right thing for them. A young person, you have to help them what's right for them. So... God's word changes us all. It's the word of truth. But when you meet each individual, you have to scratch each person's itch, whether it be their arm or their leg. So that is the heart of Christ Jesus. So whoever you go next to, they have to like you. They have to be able to say, oh, come next to me. But if you become someone who people are afraid you're going to come, you can't do well. If people are afraid that you're coming, then already you have to realize your, your destiny is ruined. Your destiny is ruined. You don't have the heart of Christ Jesus. You have a crooked heart. If you quickly realize, that's blessed. So it's not because that that person is bad. It's for you to repent of. So it's for you to fix first. So, for example, air, if, if there's poisonous gas, everyone hates that. Why? Because if you breathe that, you'll die. You know, they call that that gas, um, you know, it's a demon that kills people because straight away you die. But people hate all, pe all people hate that. But everyone loves oxygen because without it, you know, you die. So Jesus Christ, everyone, everyone loves him. But it's those who are witnessing about him. If you're fighting amongst yourselves, the unbelievers look and say, oh, those Christians. This gospel is for everyone to do well. But if you're fighting amongst yourselves, those on the outside look and they're like, why would we Why would we believe in that? So who is it that blocks evangelism? It's us. It's the denominations. And yet we're shameless. Because we've grown up in that filth, we're all twisted. If you don't change the heart of Christ Jesus, you'll only receive God's disasters. You cannot receive blessings. 
So what is your heart? That's exactly how you see the world. So because all you've seen is the fighting, you know, that's, that's the only filthiness you have. So if you scorn man, then you scorn God. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 5. But these, these Christians, if they're not your denomination, they curse and they slander. So other, other religions will say, you're a fake. But they can't even answer back. You know, they fight amongst themselves saying that they're so smart, but then they can't even answer back to the unbelievers. So where does this start from? It starts from my twisted heart. And this first comes out amongst your spouse. So if your spouse doesn't acknowledge you, then you don't have the heart of Christ Jesus. If you can't receive acknowledgement from your husband or wife, then everything else doesn't do well. Your family doesn't do well. Why? Because it's tied up from the top. So how can you do well? So you're like, oh, I'll be at peace if I live by myself. No. You have to see it as if you have someone there and you have to repent of all your past and change it. So then whoever you meet, you'll like them the same. So that's when all of the world is good. And that's when you receive the blessings that Jehovah has prepared. He makes them come to you. So even now, God wants to give according to our desires. Why doesn't it work? Because it's my heart that hasn't changed. So daily we have to wash with the blood of Christ. Then no matter how filthy, you can do well. So straight away after you wash, straight away after you receive grace, it's... It's spousal arguments that make you spill everything. But no, God's saying, let's see if you've truly received grace. Do this one more thing and receive more blessings. And so he, why? Why fight with your spouse? Instead, you should give thanks and repent. Then you'll pass the test and you'll receive more blessings. So it's because you've heard filthy sermons and you do wrong things, things where you ruin yourself. No, that's not what the Bible says. Everything you see as my sin to repent and to receive my more blessings. You know, it's not to be careful not to spill your grace. You know, if things could work by you not, sorry, if things could work out for you being careful, then the Bible would say be careful. No, Jesus had to shed his blood. I had to die, but he died for me. That's why we're thankful. So everything will work out. This blood forgives anyone's sins. But the reason why you don't do well is because you don't confess. If you did confess straight away, you'd be at peace and your spouse relationship would be, would be good. Everywhere you go to work, you would receive praise and you would receive popularity. But if this doesn't work, it's because you haven't repented. So those people who go to work, you know, there are people there who you're worried that they'll come. Why? Because they're people who haven't repented. They're going the way of curses. If you repent, you become someone who's popular. So this is what reconciliation is. This is how society becomes one. You know, if not, then there's always divisions and, and difficulties. So let's read Titus chapter 1 verse 15. To the pure, all things are pure. But to those who are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure. But both their mind and their conscience are defiled. Amen. So in the world, you say, oh, it's too filthy for me to live. That's because you're filthy. If your heart is filthy, everything is filthy. Why don't you have anything to do with that person? Or why don't you have anything to do with that person? So you've got nothing left. So it's only God who's created everything and said it's good. If you have that heart, you too will see everything as good. So any person is good. This is the heart of Christ Jesus. But if you're like, you know, oh, that person's this or that person's that, you've got nothing left. So a fake religion, um, human, human lust is to, is to only say something good. But to say to the Pharisee, this is what you need to fix. So if they fix that, they become someone else. But because they can't fix it, because of those habits, they can't be released. That's what's pitiful. Why is this? Because of greed. Everything's from greed. 
If you don't have greed, you're like, how can I help that person? But if you have greed, how? How can I have profit to myself? So because your heart's like that, if you have greed, if your heart's clean, but if your heart's dirty, you start with grumblings and complainings. Why is it that you argue with your spouse? Because things aren't happening according to your greed. That's why you grumble. It's all about your greed. But if you have the heart of Christ Jesus and you're thinking, how can I help that person? Then everything is good. Even if you smell ammonia gas, you know, it's good. But if you're like, oh, what a bad smell, then your heart's crooked. If you have a baby, you look at those people with babies. They smell the baby's poo. Well, what's the point of that? It's going to smell like ammonia gas, but the mothers do it because they're so cute. You know, you've probably seen your mother doing that. So why? Why would they do that? Because they're so cute. But if your spouse farts, you're like, oh, that's because that's you hate that smell because things aren't happening according to greed. But you're not enemies with that little with that little baby. You know, when I saw my mother in law when when her grandchildren did poo, she she'd go through it with her finger. Why? In case they'd eaten something um it's something bad. Um so, something bad for them. So I'd be like, Oh, I'm not gonna eat anything cooked with that with that finger but then I forgot, and so then I did eat from what she cooked. You know, everything she cooked, I ate it all. So this year we have to do well. So doing well, please, as long as your spouse relationship is good. So that is the heart of Christ Jesus. So whether you go to work, everywhere, everything will be good. But if your spouse relationship is bad, everything becomes crumpled up. The whole world becomes crumpled up. But if you if you smooth out that spouse relationship, then everywhere you go is smooth. So. You know, learning English is so easy, but so we will do well. So starting from me, I have to have the heart of Christ Jesus, where everything is good. Who likes you? Those people who help you according to your needs. If you're in year one, to help that person as a year one. You know, if someone's in year six, to help them. That's what's right for year six. So to help rightly, you have to have the heart of Christ Jesus. So we'll all do well. So what heart do we have to have? A clean heart. That is the heart of Christ Jesus. So before, it was the heart of Christ Jesus. But here it says, if your heart is clean, everything is clean. So the cleanest heart is Christ Jesus. So if we repent, everything will do well. Today, let's be victorious. This year, let's surely be victorious. So then you go out and you're like, no. That's not going to work. Well, no one's going to ask you next time if you're always saying it's not going to work. Some people, so for example, let's say you have to, you need a million dollars to build a house, but someone only has a hundred thousand dollars. Yet there are people who want a one million dollar house with only a hundred thousand dollars. If you say, oh, that doesn't even make sense, then you're, they're not going to ask you again. You know, they want to build a house that's worth a million dollars. So if you say, look, you can do it, but if you build it like this, it's not going to be a good house. So they'll be like, oh, what should I do then? Well, either you reduce this or you add more money. So if you teach them, but if you just say, no, nah, it's not going to work, then they're not going to talk to you again. Why? What's the point of asking someone who's going to say it's not going to work? So then if they ask you again and you're like, no, it's not going to work, then they're not going to have anything to do with you again. That person who builds more than 10 in one year, everything he says 
it can happen. So if it's if it's a, it's if he spends a dollar, then as long as he keeps back ten cents. So because everything he does, he he does it like that. That's why he does well. But if you're like a piece of metal that's been cut, everything everything you don't you can't match anywhere, except that except your that one that one piece of steel. That's stubbornness. If you're if you're stubborn, hundred percent, you're an enemy with God, and that starts with your your spouse. If your spa, if your wife says this or or your wife says that, you know everything. If it's good, then you'll do well. That person's always smiling because everything is okay. But you look at those people whose faces like this. If it doesn't match up with them, everything else is is no. That is a stone. You know, or, or a piece of steel. That that person's useless because they only are right in one thing. You know, a person can't be a rock or a steel. We have to be right everywhere. So the heart of Christ Jesus loved everyone. Who didn't he love? He loved everyone. So today you have to have that heart. Whoever you meet, you have to love them. So starting from me, my family, the person next to me, that's when you succeed. That's when you succeed. Oh, but they still don't like me. Well, then come, come for counseling, and I'll and I'll pierce you and tell you what's wrong. Where you're a Pharisee. If you're not matching up with people, it's because there's something sticking out. That's what you have to get rid of. So the heart of Christ Jesus is to be right with with anyone. So let's say to the person next to us, everything will do well. 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 So, in in a really big war, the reason why the Soviet won is because they said, "Oh, everyone, all the women see it as my wife," and that's how that president won the war. If that was genuine, you know, from the beginning, we're the bride of of Christ, of the bride of Jesus. So, if that person said it with faith, that's that's in, that's incredible. To say everyone is my wife. If you did this with the heart of Christ, then you're Jesus. Otherwise, it's just it's just a show. So God knows. But if you have a genuine heart, whatever you do, then more and more you'll succeed. Let's all pray. Almighty Father, may our hearts change to the heart of Christ Jesus. If I am clean. Then my spouse relationship is clean. If my spouse relationship is clean, then when I go out in the world, the world is clean. Even though the people in the world are, are, are dirty, they still like things that are clean. So wherever we go, may we be light and show them cleanness, so that they'll seek me. And as and as they discuss with me, they're like, ah,、oh, you know, things will work out with this person. And so may we become someone who helps the world. That is the heart of Christ Jesus. May we all give you glory, and may we receive happiness and satisfaction with the heart of Christ Jesus. From this time forth, may we all be victorious. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen.